hello friends and welcome back to my channel this week i am planning at the week of january 18th through the 24th using this glam planner anya kit it's anastasia themed um this kit just came in the mail on i think it was either thursday the 21st or friday the 22nd so i obviously just used it instantly and I wanted to say I did discover a new double box hack in this video and I will slow it down real time um, to make sure that I am showing you in detail how to do it because I know when things are sped up, it can be kind of difficult to see it. And I just know that some people learn better with it slowed down. So I wanted to make sure, you know, that people can understand how to do it, although I don't think it's that complicated, so no worries there. I'm just starting off by putting the bottom washi down, which Glam Planner's bottom washi is just a hair wider than these inserts um, columns are, because it's meant for the She Who Shall Not Be Named planner, because she widened her columns, but that's okay. I just split the difference instead of cutting some of it off, and you can't even tell, and I really like the way it looks. So here I'm just spreading out all the boxes, deciding what I want to do before I decide that I'm going to give this hack a try. And if you don't know, I live in California, so undo isn't a thing here. We can't get the yellow label undo that works. Um, so, you know, risking it all the way because there's like no fixing it or no help. <laughs> um, so the first thing I'm doing is I'm taking these tall box extenders that I got from Sticky Essentials and I'm cutting off this plain white piece, white strip that was in the middle of some of them for this. Then I am putting this double box down and if you're wondering why I'm sticking the stickers on my skin first, it's to make them less sticky. So if I mess up, they're easier to pull up because again, your girl doesn't have undo. So you, you're gonna see me struggle with this. Again, it is my first time doing it. Um, I usually practice these before on like spare kits I have or stuff I've gotten in like grab bags or um, kits I'm not going to use, but this one I didn't practice first, so we were really truly winging it and I wanted to wing it on camera and I'm sure some of you have already figured out what I am doing here. Um, I was so excited about this. I think this is how I'm going to include most of the double boxes in kits from now on just because... I think it works so well, so I'm really excited about it and I'm happy to get to share it with you. Now I'm just putting this white piece of paper down that like gap strip in the middle because that is sticky. Obviously it's on the back of sticker paper. So I wanted to put something there to make it not sticky. You could use anything. You could use, you know, a bougie box. You could I mean, pretty much anything to make it not sticky is the goal, right? So here I'm doing a bad job of showing you, but I'm just folding it at where those two boxes are at the top so that when you open it, the it opens up to the double box. And I will show you. I decided that instead of just that white piece of paper in the middle, I was going to cut the little strip out of the full box sheet that they're on to kind of make the scene more complete and more seamless. Um, just so there wasn't that gap there, although that usually doesn't bug me, but for some reason I decided this time I was going to do that. So, you know, here we are. So as you can see, it just flips up and there's my new double box hack. So I'm really excited about that. Now, if you want to skip to the day by day, I did put the timestamp on the screen for you right there. Um, cause I know not everybody cares about putting down the base. So um, if you were one of those people that cares, then welcome. And if not, then I'm sure you're not even hearing this part of it and you've already gone and fast forwarded. So now I'm just doing another extender, all the extenders this week. This is just one of those weeks that required, I think, four. So, you know, it's a bit of a busier week. This one's going to be in the sidebar. Again, I just loved all of the art in this kit. You know, sometimes there's like a box or two that you kind of want to omit. Sometimes in some of the clip art, it's just not your style or whatever. But recently, almost every box and every kit has been my style. So I've been wanting to include them all because I just love art so much. And 
I'm not the type of person that's going to reuse a kit or repurchase a kit and use it again. Um, to me, it's almost like a moment in time. And once I've used it on that week, like it's time to move on and I don't want to use it again. Maybe my feelings will change in the future, but for now, that's the way it is. Um, so, you know, I'm only using it once, so I want to use all the boxes that I can because I love them. <laughs> I guess that's the old art history major in me talking. So here I'm laying down some full box underlays. These are in gold foil. I am using gold foil with this kit. Um, these are from Sticky Essentials, by the way. I debated a long time between gold and silver foil for this kit, and I decided to go with gold because I feel like I have a lot of silver coming up in my planner and not as much gold, like in the beginning part of the year, at least, as I'm looking at it. Um... Also, I apologize for the lighting. I didn't even notice it as I was filming. It kind of goes in and out. <laughs> you know, when working with natural lighting, you got to work with what you got. And it is what it is. I don't know what to do about it. I'm sorry. This is the best light lit room in the house, but it has some weird things that happen with shadows. So I'm doing what I can. <laughs> um... I'm just going through and continuing to lay down the full boxes and the overlays. I apologize for that ding. I don't even know how to stop that on my computer. Um, it was a text message. It is apparently snowing out in the desert where one of my friends is at, which right now in California, it's like our what I consider to be our true winter, meaning it's not getting above 60 degrees for a week. So it's weird to hear that it's snowing in the desert though. So that's interesting. They're going to send me a picture when they get service. So here I am making another extender because I uh, knew I was going to need one on Wednesday because Wednesday had already happened when I was laying down this base, which isn't always the case. So I re rarely ever put them under the full boxes. They're usually under one of the uh, underlay boxes. Couldn't think of the word there. Total brain space. Also, the lighting will get better. I'm looking at the footage. It's going to improve here in like a few seconds. So just bear with it. And watch me struggle with this box because laying this box down on Wednesday is not easy you're gonna see me struggle with quite a few things in this plan with me per usual what else is new um, I feel like it's not a plan with me unless I struggle with something and things just didn't want to be straight this week and I kept getting hairs more than normal. I mean, I always get animal hairs in my spreads. It's just the way it is living with a floof and my dog. And this week it was just extra for some reason. But here we go back to try to lay this box down. I realized I had made it a little crooked to begin with. So it's going to make it even harder to do this. But it's... <sighs> You know, you have those spreads that just go so well sometimes, and then you have some that are such a struggle. This was one that was in the middle. I feel like the day-by-day -day went real pretty well, except for one little part that happened on Sunday, which you'll see. But I feel like the base was hard to get things down straight. I don't know. Or at least I was struggling with it more than normal. This week was overall a better week mental health wise than the previous week. So for all of you that have sent me messages and on Instagram or here, I really appreciate it. Um, I know you guys mean well and it seriously makes my day. I just can't wait to be done with that. My hellhole of a school who I nicknamed the cult. I don't know if they actually are a cult. It's up for speculation and debate. 
but I will be making a video once I graduate and have my diploma in hand, not a second before, about my experience with my school and everything because I don't want somebody to go through what I went through and what they put me through. Like some of the reactions my body's having, like mental health wise, the tax it's taken on my body. Um, it's gotten pretty bad, especially this semester. A new thing for me is waking up with cold sweats and having like waking up with panic attacks. So um, I'm working with my therapist at coping with that, but we will get through and I just can't wait to be done. I'm just trying to figure out if I'm doing my student teaching through them or not, which as much as I hate to say it, with the way their program's set up, there's a lot of benefits to me doing student teaching through them, whereas if I were to do it through somewhere else, it would be more than just four months. It would be like a year and a half, two years, so, and more standardized tests than I need to take now. Um, so I'm just trying to decide if my mental health can handle it and it would also require me moving for four months or kill killing myself driving for four months over an hour every day, five days a week. So I'm just trying to decide what would be best for me right now and that's kind of where I'm at and it's causing a lot of stress on top of the normal BS of my school so just to like complain for a second because why not right I have a two unit class he assigned us 14 textbook chapters worth of reading and each chapter needs a 200 word response about it so that he can confirm that we did the reading. However, he is not grading them. 14 textbook chapters that are split between science and math. That is not like easy, you know, we're talking like college grade textbook chapters. Oh, really quick here you can see I'm putting down an overlay that was just left over on my board from Girl Boss Anna, and I cut it out around the flag to just add some foil to that flag. But And then these underlays right here, or excuse me, overlays, bottom washi overlays are from Caress Press, and the one I'm putting at the top is as well. So anyways, that is just one class alone, and I have six classes, so if you can imagine, I'm a little bit stressed and I need to get like my BSing mojo going to get these done because I have quite a few to do that are still due today and I haven't done them yet. And I have lots of things to do, but they will get done. I have plenty of time to do them before class. I just don't like pointless assignments. I don't like things that I feel like are wasted time. If we were being graded for them, I would still be pissed at the amount of work, but I wouldn't be as upset. It's the whole not being graded thing that really grinds my gears, especially because in his in a class I took with the same professor my first semester there, he talks about how it is how it shows that you don't value your students if you make them do something and don't grade it and for him to preach that and then like be a hypocrite it's just annoying this is also the professor that royally screwed up my schedule and my life so I'm not I have no leniency when it comes to him and his class but anyways enough about the cult I'm just laying down full box overlays now these are all from sticky essentials um, even the ones on the double boxes. I love that she has the double box over that are like the boxes designed that are meant for like the scenes. It's just amazing. I decided to just keep it simple this week and keep all of the overlay boxes fully full box overlays. Wow. <sighs> gotta, gotta drink some more coffee this morning. Uh, friends, it's only 923.
but I decided to keep them all the same and keep them simple. I have been switching them up every week so far and I just felt like this kit and the art called for a more simplistic look. I don't know, maybe that was just me. And then this January script I'm putting up here is from Rose Colored Days. The water script is from Bookish Planning. And then the calorie goal script is a custom from Inspired Ever After. I was looking to see if I wanted to put any deco down there. And I don't, I didn't end up doing it. I just didn't think any of the pieces, I just didn't love them there for some reason. So I am just going to scatter some of it at the top. Um, again, I kept it pretty simple this week at the top. I didn't want it to be too overwhelming. For, I don't know if I'm just overwhelmed with school, so I wanted this week to look a little simpler. I mean, look, I'm still a some white space planner that likes to fill my spreads out to the max with scripts and character stickers and stuff like it is still a very busy spread especially compared to some planners but for me it's a less busy spread <laughs> i love that l includes these little like colored dots in her kits i think that they're awesome for filling up just a little bit of space i mean i know i put the whole bottom washi thing at the top to also help fill up space but i like bringing in the colors as well now i'm just pulling in these uh header overlays from can we guess yes it's sticky essentials and I sped this up really quick because I feel like putting down overlays is, header overlays is tedious. And I feel like it's very tedious to watch. It's probably my least favorite part of planning, which is why I tend to forget to do it. Um, I mean, I always eventually remember, but it's like not one of the things I like doing or look forward to doing, but I do feel like it looks good once it's done, and I'm always glad that I did it. So here I'm just putting my base back in my planner before I cut to the day by day. And here we are at the day by day. So I'm going to be doing what I did last week with my Monsters University spread where I'm going to go through the week and put in all of the character stickers and scripts that I got from shops. And then once I get done with Sunday, I will zoom out and put in all the scripts that I made myself so that that way you can see which ones are from shops and which ones I made myself. I felt like that was a really good way for you to know. So up at the top on Monday, that bow paper clip is from Fox and Piff, and that is to mark Martin Luther King Day. Then below that, I use a glam planner, Teeny and Bop, to mark planning, and that script is from Sticky Essentials. Then I use the stick with the plan co girl holding a light bul bulb to mark fixing the outdoor lights. They had come crashing down a few days before, so my dad came over because I needed him. We needed a taller ladder than I have at my house. And instead of using like the cheap plastic, almost like Christmas light hangers to hang up my outdoor lights, we actually screwed them into the house. So they are safe and secure now. Moving into the bottom half of Monday, I use a pumpkin paper co-girl to mark that I had a FaceTime date with Ryan. Then I use a Beneva's Creations burrito and a custom Kinsey script to mark that we ate burritos on our FaceTime date together. And then below that, I used a Pumpkin Paper Co. Happy Maru to mark that I had no class because we all know how much I hate school. Okay, I should clarify. I love school. I hate my school. Moving on to Tuesday, the first thing I marked using this Glam Planner, I think that is, I think that's Bippity and Boo on that sheet. It's the sheet that goes with the Anastasia kit and has um, Bippity dresses Anastasia. I'm using that kit all week to mark doing homework, and I used a Sticky Essentials homework script with those. Then below that, I used a Saucy Stickers Co. 
lazy day panda sticker to mark that it was a lazy day. I had almost nothing to put in this day and I needed to fill space. Then using a rounded half box that I cut and a once more with love munchkin and a Kinsey script, I marked editing. Below that, I used a Hulu TV from Miss Just Plans. Use my code ROSIE20 for 20% off. I will have that link down below for you. Um, love her TVs. I use them all the time, and I actually finished up a sheet of Hulu TVs this week, so that's always exciting. But that is to mark Hell's Kitchen. Below that, I used a Glam Planner, Bippity and Boo, eating popcorn to mark that I had popcorn for dinner. And then I used a flag and an Anastasia Bippity from Glam Planner and a Sticky Essentials script to mark that I had class that night. Moving into Wednesday, I just kept things in chronological order this day because my brain didn't feel like doing more planner math. So I don't have any very good patriotic stickers to represent like anything with American flags or anything. I really got to work on that. I realize I'm lacking, so I just use these Fox and Pip military boots to mark Inauguration Day. I don't know. I figured since it was like the most guarded inauguration in history, it worked. I know that's a very lame rationale, but I had nothing better. Then using these Once More with Love March Munchkins and a Planahanna therapy script, I marked that I had therapy. Below that, using a Glam Planner Kisma, I marked that I was in my feelings. That therapy session, it was a heavy one. Um, that's all I'll say. We're working through some things. And then below that, on a little thing, I used a Miss Just Plans cheeseburger script and a Jody Doodles McDonald's script to mark that I got McDonald's. I am trying to get the McDonald's or McDonald's, obviously. The Monopoly Happy Meal toy. Mono Monopoly, did I say that right? I'm losing my brain, guys. But we're going to keep it going. I said I was going to try to not stop this voiceover today, so we're just going with the flow. I marked watching Hell's Kitchen again. Below that, using a Fox and Cactus Black Dog sticker and a custom Kinsey's Creation script. I marked Tito time to mark my mom and Tito coming over. Then I used another flag from the kit and a Anastasia Glam Planner Girls to mark class with a Sticky Essentials class script. Below that, I cut a Stick with the Plan Co. girl making soup to mark making Hello Fresh. I think Mom and I made the sweet potato and mushroom poison is that right bowls oh my god they were regardless they were so good highly recommend if you have any questions about hello fresh feel free to message me as well i don't like they don't know i exist i'm just obsessed with them and then i used the once more with love munchkins who mark playing family feud with mom then I used another once more with Love Animal Crossing sticker and a Kinsey's Creation script to mark playing Animal Crossing. Below that, I used a Beneva Creations girl holding a phone and a cup of coffee. It really should have been a white claw, but, you know, got to work with what you got. I used a FaceTime script from Sticky Essentials and then a Kinsey's Creations custom Keaton script to mark that mom and I FaceTimed. Keaton for a little FaceTime watch party to watch Hercules. Um, Keaton hadn't seen it before and it's my favorite Disney movie and I thought that that was just completely unacceptable. And that Hades sticker is from the Coffee Monsters Co. Then below that I marked getting Krispy Kreme with a donut from Chasing Chells and another Jody Doodles Krispy Kreme script that I cut. Jody Doodles is Ilza Plandit's shop. Um, she's no longer open, but if you really want scripts from her, you can message her on Instagram, and she is willing to work stuff out with people, which I think is awesome. And the first thing I'm working on Thursday is that I basically finished the rest of the Krispy Kremes using another Chasing Shells donut and a Ilza or Jody Doodles script. Below that, I marked watching Hell's Kitchen with another Miss Just Plans Hulu TV. I told you I used a ton of these this week. 
And I just love how that Hulu t TV fits in that size box. I feel like it is just perfection. So below that, I had laid down a box and I realized I wanted to use all the pattern squared off boxes to mark homework and then I had used it there. So I picked it up and swapped it out for a blue squared off box to mark uploading with a Kinsey's Creation script and a Munchkin from Once More with Love. Moving into the bottom half of Thursday, the first thing I put down was another Lazy Day Panda from the Saucy Stickers Co. Then I marked doing homework with the little bat character from the Anastasia sheet from Glam Planner. What is his name? Why can I not think of what his name is? Oh, that's frustrating. Anyways, below that I used another Stick with the Plan Co. girl. This one's holding like a little plate with a dome cover and marked watching Hello Fresh. Watching Hello Fresh. Wow, making Hello Fresh. I'm trying to look up the bat's name right now. Clearly, I can't multitask. Dimitri. Bar Is it Bartok? Is that right? I didn't know Kirsten Dunst was the voice of young Anastasia. Did you guys know that Kirsten Dunst was the voice of young Anastasia? You learn something new every day. Moving into Friday, the first thing I marked using this paper and milk Maru Cleaning and a Piper Paper Company Clean the House script was that, you know, I clean the house, obviously. I love the couple Piper Paper Company scripts I have. I just like how she formats them with the different fonts. Below that, using a Glam Planner laundry basket from a very old, very old advent. I think the first one she ever did. And a laundry script from Sticky Essentials. I marked just doing laundry. Then using a Mixie Cat Stuff car, I marked that my mom and Tito left. Then I used another Miss Just Plans TV to mark Hell's Kitchen because I'm really on that kick right now. Then I used a Fox and Cactus Sleeping Cat to mark taking a nap. I was just exhausted. Then I used the last flag from the kit and another Anastasia girl with a sticky essential script to mark class. This Anastasia girl is not from the Anastasia sheet that was released with this kit. It's from an old Disney princess sheet that Glam Planner came out with, I think in a sub box a few years ago, but I just wanted to include all three different variations. Below that, I marked getting Pizza Hut with a Fox and Cactus Pizza Slice and a Jody Doodles Pizza Hut script. Ilza. I don't know ever if I should call it Jody Doodles or Ilza <laughs> planned it because I never know what to say for her scripts. But then I used a Fox and Pip Happy Girl to celebrate hitting 1,500 um, followers on Instagram. I was so excited. You guys have no idea. I have been kind of waiting to hit that number for a while now. And I was just really, really excited to hit it and had to mark it in my planner. So here I just put down the weekend banner using two glitter headers behind it because I didn't feel like I was going to need that space to mark extra things in my week. So the first thing I marked using this Glam Planner Bippity and Boo that was from her subscription, so I don't think you can get them in her shop, was that it was a rainy day, and I just think the colors of her little, like, raincoat and umbrella matched this spread so well. And obviously living in Southern California, rainy days are not something that happens too, too often around here, so... It was the first one in a very long time, and I just wanted to mark it, especially since the sticker matched so well. And you guys are seeing me struggle with this box severely. <laughs> Below that, I marked doing homework again with another Puka. Is that the dog's name? Puka sheet? A uh, uh, Puka character from that Glam Planner sheet. Then below that, I used this little foiled dog in a bathtub script from a Glittery Life Plans to mark that I washed Lucy's dog toys. I don't 
have any like dog toy scripts so that was like the closest thing that I had and some of them look completely brand new it was like the best thing ever so if you guys don't watch your dog toys recommend it then I watched Moore's Hell more Hell's Kitchen with Amos Just Plans TV then I planned and that script is from Sticky Essentials and the character with the camera is from Glam Planner and below that I marked playing Animal Crossing with a Paper and Milk Maru and a Kinsey's Creation script. I did a lot of terraforming that night so I wanted to represent that. The first thing I marked on Sunday was doing laundry with the little bed from the kit and a Sticky Essentials script. I always wash my sheets and towels on Sundays so that those beds are perfect. Then I was in my feelings, which I marked with another Kisma. Below that, I used a Benevis Creations burrito and a custom Kinsey script. Then I did more homework using more glam planner characters and a sticky essential script. Then I using a Once More With Love munchkin holding a Dodo Airlines ticket. I marked playing animals Animal Crossing, that script is from Kinsey's Creation, as is the football script below it. And that football doodle is from Beneva Creations. Then I use another Miss Just Plans burger and a Jody Doodle script to mark McDonald's, although I put the McDonald's script next to the Hulu TV that's supposed to be for Hell's Kitchen, but I will fix that. So here now I'm just moving in to the scripts that I made myself so you guys can see you know just how many scripts I make for myself a week and how many are you know filled in from shops that I bought and I'm sure as time goes on I will just make more and more myself rather than buying them from shops um but I mean, only time will tell. Who knows? Maybe me and my silhouette will get into another fight and break up. We're in a really good spot in our relationship right now, though. And I really hope and hoping it stays that way. <laughs> um, but this spread is just so easy on the eyes for me to look at that I feel like it might be one of those spreads in my planner that isn't memorable for some reason like while it's gorgeous and I love it I feel like as the years go on as the year go on that's still not right as the year goes on I feel like while it's gorgeous and I love it I don't know I don't know do you guys know what I'm saying <laughs> I feel like I'm just rambling now um but either way, I appreciate you guys watching my video. As you can see, I just fixed that McDonald's script right there. And now I'm moving into my sidebar to mark my workouts and my steps, which I'm still on track with my workouts. Super excited about that. And my Peloton is coming in like, you know, a week. So I am couldn't be more excited. But as I was saying, I appreciate you guys watching my video, especially if you made it this far. This one was kind of a hot mess. I feel like I say that every week, so. But as I always say, I am trying to grow my YouTube channel right now. So if you are not subscribed, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe so you don't miss out on any more of my future videos. I am really enjoying filming right now. It's one of my favorite things to do during the week. So... And I'm even enjoying editing recently. So yeah, I feel like this has just been a really positive outlet with me for school. And as per, I don't want to say request, but people have been commenting that they really like the close-ups. So I really wanted to make sure to give you one this week. The lighting, again, is really weird here. There's no sun with the storms. So it's really hard for me to get a good wiggle for you guys, but I tried my absolute best to do so. Um, just, I hope you guys all have a good week. I know things are just crazy and extra stressful right now in the world for everybody. So I just want you to know that if you are going through something and you need somebody to talk to, that my DMs on Instagram are open for you. And feel free to talk to me and I will, you know, respond when I'm not doing homework. 
Um, I wanted to make sure to give you guys a really good up close of that double box at the top um, hack again, because I know I was kind of zoomed out for that, but just please give this video a thumbs up and have the best week possible, friends, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!